My dear JE Warriors, for 2026, 2027, and even 28, 29, this affects everyone. And as you all know, that there is 75% criteria, which is basically your board marks, which will be considered as eligibility. If you do not have 75% in five subjects altogether, then in spite of being All India Rank 1, you cannot seek admission in IITs, NITs, triple ITs, government funded institutes, all of this. That is number one. Number two, there is no third attempt available in JE Advance, although there is third attempt available in JE Mains. So a student taking second drop has to be only on the mercy of JE Mains, not JE Advance to seek admission in IITs. But these are the two pressing issues and many kids and parents are scared to openly talk about it, admit the fear, and they are also afraid that NDA may take revenge. But my dear warriors, my dear parents, my dear students, if you start bending down like this, then there is no point of such education. There is no need of you to bend down bow to the pressure because you know something is not correct. Now I'll tell you some very critical points and you also let me know if you agree with this by liking the video because it shows your support for the cause and other students also will get notified about it. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Monish Badrinath K. Raja. Welcome about. See, I'll tell you what. Till the year 2020, till the year 2020, there was 75% criteria. Okay, 75% criteria was existing. So after COVID, what happened is, you know, for a couple of years, I think till 2023 or 2024, what happened is they said, we will not have any kind of criteria. Okay, so that criteria was removed. Again, last year onwards, so from 2024 onwards, and you know, we again got that criteria back into place. Now, what is this criteria? In five subjects, in five subjects, that is physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, plus one extra subject, together you should have more than 75%. More than 75%, this criteria was introduced. Now, the argument was before COVID, that criteria was there. So, we relaxed it during COVID. So, now since it was already continuing, we should continue. What kind of logic is this? Just because something wrong was happening before. Uh, now we relaxed it for some reason so that wrong should continue because the situation is back to normal. Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? Not at all, right? That is exactly my point. We should question why that 75%. The second point is that the authorities say that students neglect of the board exams and that is the reason why we have introduced this so that the boards uh, is sh uh, board should also be given priority. My question, and I think your question should be, why should boards be given priority? You will argue, oh, boards, sir, boards is the basics of everything. If boards was the basic of everything, if boards was everything and so important for you, then why was there a need for J entrance examination? Then you should have only everything to boards. Boards, uh, parameters are completely different and you cannot seek admission in a technical institute on the basis of the skills that you need in the board exam. That is why you have J exam. So why should there be a 75% criteria? And let me tell you a very important thing. This particular criteria is not there in the NEET examination. So NEET exam does not have any such 75% criteria. Imagine a doctor from AIMS, top notch surgeon will be operating on you. He has no such requirement that he should have cleared 75% in boards as long he or she is doing her job or his job properly. Same thing, if doctor profession is, uh, which is so critical, does not have that need in NEET exam, why engineers, scientists, researchers, you know, have that need for 75% criteria? Agree or disagree? Next thing, okay, all these are pressing important issues, my dear warriors. Next important thing. If you are so bothered about boards or if you are so bothered about, you know, the attendance, why can't you make the board paper more application oriented and 
Also, you should understand that the board level and the J level are completely different things. After boards, a student might go to merchant navy, hotel management, go into finance, go to BSc. There is no need for boards to be at such high level. J is properly for a technical institute like engineering, scientists or you know research oriented. So we cannot expect the board level to go up nor the J level to come down. They are two different things. So we cannot mix the two. Another important thing, you know who has this criteria? Who created this criteria? Well, the body which created this criteria is JOSA. Now, basically, JOSA is a counseling body. JOSA is a counseling body. This counseling body has told that this criteria should be there. But IITs or NITs or triple ITs or, you know, GFTIs, government funded technical institutes, they say, we don't need this. Why are you? creating this criteria we don't have any such requirement josa is a completely non academic body that has created this requirement 75% criteria which is again nonsensical why should a third person come and say oh no 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 if you want to go here you have to do this it's like you want to go and eat in a restaurant you want to eat some dosa and then one random person comes and say, no, 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 I am the gatekeeper. You need to pay me 100 rupees only then you can enter into the restaurant. Why? You are not even related to that restaurant. Getting my point? So all these are critical criteria which need to be questioned. And the most important thing, my dear students, is see, if a student is a 12th standard pass out, he can give the J means and J advance also. So he can give the mains also, he can give advance also. If he has taken the first drop, then he can give mains and advance. But if he takes the second drop, which is the third attempt, then he can give mains but not eligible for advance. My question is, fine, whatever your logic is, why such abnormalities over here, considering that need does not have such age limitation, nor the number of attempts limitation. Imagine a surgeon, imagine... Uh, anesthetist imagine a medical practitioner who has such a critical job they don't have age limits they don't have number of attempts limit they can be sixth dropper eighth dropper 20th dropper that's a whole lot of another issue which you might argue but if they don't have the criteria why do engineers need that criteria that you can take two drops you can argue yes then the competition from the droppers increases then tell me why is there a third attempt over here for mains? What are you expecting? A student will just take drop for mains. Obviously, nobody will take just drop for a mains exam unless there was some medical emergency during the second attempt or something really bad happened during that time. So the third attempt either should be there or then you don't don't keep it in the second attempt. What is the purpose of this? So I to feel this attempt should be there. The third attempt should be there because two attempts is generic and even if you go to abroad many universities they don't have such random criteria that only two attempts are allowed there is this age limitation there is a decent age till which you can enter the college due to some reasons you might not be able to give the exam you know for whatever reasons so this third attempt should be there do you guys agree with all the pointers that i have made and if you guys agree with this pointer the most important thing that i want you to do is not only subscribe and like but please share this with your friends and tag the NTA, tag JOSA, tag the education minister, tag our important personalities so that they take notice. Unless a lot of people talk about it, you don't make noise, nobody is going to take you seriously. I am a small channel, okay? I might have some barely 3 lakh subscribers over here. But the number of students who write J exam is 15 lakh per year. Imagine every year how many students will get affected in a matter of 2 to 3 years. Around 40 to 50 lakh students are getting affected by this particular criteria and random, you know, eligibilities. So my dear warriors, you have to make noise. And some teachers are talking about it. I have full support for them. It doesn't matter whether they are in Vedantu, not in Vedantu. If somebody is talking about it. Please support everyone because unless this becomes a revolution and a movement, you don't make noise, this will not go. Okay, so make sure that this is heard and don't be scared that somebody will take revenge. And by the way, if you are not yet registered for MVSAT, the scholarship admission test, please register. The exam is just in a month or so. 
4th, 5th, 11th and 12th October. Obviously, there are a lot of scholarships. There are prizes and cash rewards and everything. You also are going to get a detailed score report card for your analysis and two and a half lakh plus students are going to write this examination. The link is there in the description box of this particular video itself as you are watching it. Okay, so just go down and you will see the MVSAT registration link right over here. Just click on it and you will be able to register by entering your details. Also, a very good news for all the 9th and 10th standard students who are preparing for CBSE. There is a very big surprise planned tomorrow, that's Sunday, okay, at 7 o'clock. The number CBSE 9th and 10th Vedantu channel, which is a pure English channel, just like we have the J English channel. This is also going to be a pure English channel for 9th and 10th and foundation, right? So make sure you are there onto this channel and let your juniors know about this channel because you might have missed that 9th and 10th journey. Now is their turn. So make sure your juniors know about it. 7 o'clock tomorrow is going to be the launch, right? Thank you so much, my dear students. Please share this video. This was Captain Slayer signing off.